We saw in the previous video how Timer Pro will automatically create and maintain your work combination sheets. And in this section, we're going to talk about how you can customize the uh, work combination sheet to your particular needs. Here's an example of the work combination sheet that's created in Timer Pro by default. Uh, this particular sheet, though, comes from a master template called Combination Config. And this is a combination config sheet, and you can see. Uh, if I look at the open, the combination config actually exists in the timer palm folder right here. So the timer palm folder is right off of the C drive of your of your uh, PC, and it's called combination config.xls. And at this point, you can basically change anything you want in here, other than the area down here where the work elements are. We're expecting this whole area to remain constant because that's what we're maintaining. But the area at the top, uh, the area in here and the uh, the various flowcharts and so forth. You can change that any way that you'd like, but keep the same size because this size is designed to fit onto the standard uh, output piece of paper. So if you want to put your logo on here, maybe change some of the terms and so forth in here, um, alter what's in this particular section, you can do that. If you want to put more pictures in here, you can lay it out any way you like. So as you see, the, this is a template combination config, and that is a sheet that gives rise to all of the uh, st standard work combination sheets that you see all the way through the Timer Pro maintenance here, right? So for instance, if you want to go back and change default values, you can go back in here. You can change the default time per shift if that's a constant in your particular uh, location. Um, you might uh, put different icons in here. Maybe you get a, some graphics of the assembly line. You could put that in here. Anything you like. We'll maintain everything for you. Again, the, the main thing is do not change this area down here where the data gets dumped into by Timer Pro. We're expecting that to be there. 